What's going on everybody? So I got a really awesome unboxing video for you guys. Um, well, first of all, let's turn it up. Hopefully that's the right side up. Um, let's zoom the camera out a little bit for you guys. Oh, I guess I have it out as far as I can. Um, so, I finally decided to get a high-powered computer. Um, my HP computer I have now, it's, it's good, but it can't do the programs and can't do good edits and I like this camera can record in 4k HD but the computer I have now can't even play it back because it's just not a high power computer um, doesn't have all the goodies and stuff so I sold some of my precious metals to buy this and the reviews are really good on it uh, four to five star rating you can get this computer for anywhere from seven hundred and twenty dollars to eight hundred and fifty dollars so I want to first make sure I don't have it upside down okay I think I have it upside down so let me get a knife real quick guys so I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on this computer so you're going to have to subscribe to my channel because you're not going to want to miss me giving full details on it and showing you how it works and giving my review six months from now and a year from now. But this is a computer by CyberPower PC. I will have the details in the description on the model and everything. Um, I can go over it real quick for you guys if you want. So, uh, CyberPower PC. The, the model number is GXIVR8020A4. Uh, Gamer, and then it's the model Gamer Extreme VR Series Intel Edition. So it has Intel i5 7400, uh, 3.00 GHZ CPU, 8GB DDR4 memory. AMD Radeon RX 580 4GB GPU 1TB 7200RPM hard drive uh, I think Windows 10 and Wi-Fi gaming keyboard mouse blah 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 lifetime technical support one year warranty and yeah So, um, I have a monitor that I'm going to buy for this. I'm actually going to set up an area back here for this computer. You know, this is pretty much going to be my YouTube computer. So, it's packaged nicely. Uh, we got one box that might have some stuff in it. Alright, so let me come closer for you guys so you can see what I'm seeing. So, in here we got wireless dual band USB adapter. Um, we got the gaming mouse, Cyber Power PC gaming mouse. Oh, looks like we got some instruction manuals and looks like a power cord in here um, so just some other stuff in here just yeah more manuals showing you how to do stuff and so forth making sure everything's plugged in and everything's on correctly so if you're new to computers and stuff then you want to read all that Alright, now comes the fun, oh no, not yet, pull out the gaming uh, keyboard, 
So that is the keyboard. Multimedia gaming keyboard. Now, let's pull this out. That is a nice size computer. My goodness. Alright guys. Pretty big size computer. If I do say so myself. Okay, so now we are actually going to zoom the camera in. Now you guys can see better and I'll show you guys what I was talking about, which is very disappointing. Alright. Now let's see if I can do this. See right up in there? Again, it doesn't, I mean, it's not a big deal, so I don't know. I will probably just let it go. But still, if you're buying something brand new, you no, know, it at least could be actually brand new. So this has LEDs on it, like that. From what I've seen from videos, three things, rings light up in there, bright red or orange. So these are 3.0 USB ports. So I'm taking this off. Uh, I think this is glass or plexiglass. So we're going to take the plastic off of... Oh man, so all these were loose. Now we gotta get this last one off. Alright, guys, we are gonna take this plastic off. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. So the inside is damaged. Look at this. Look at all that. That's all on the inside and there's there was no plastic protecting the inside. So all this up in here. So it's like I bought, I mean as far as the looks, it's like I bought a used computer. But I paid for a new computer's price. Alright, so now we're taking this out, which was just loosely placed in there. Um, all right, well that's very flimsy. There should be something supporting this. Wow, unbelievable. So this is how the computer is supposed to be. It's supposed to stand up like this. And they have the, this just simply, I mean, nothing supporting it. We're gonna have to do something so it's not like this. These are two fans underneath. So that's good. And we got a fan on the side here. A fan here. Um, it's pretty dark, so I don't think you guys can see, but we got three fans here, and the LEDs are in here. Wow, I just cannot believe, though that there's there's nothing propping that up I mean all that weight over the time is I mean not good on it but whatever uh, we will do something else there and get it propped up better so looks like we have three extra ports to add more memory I believe um, make sure everything's in good seems like everything's put in solid um, I don't feel anything loose besides this stupid, I mean that's just stupid. Plugs seem okay. Alright, so, so far, alright guys, so I took some photos. Um, up next, let's take off this cover. 
and it just simply pops right off there. So there we got what should be the LEDs. I'm not actually too convinced that these are going to light up, but we'll see. The photo showed that it did, so wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't. You can tell this is not a paid review by the company or by sellers. This is an honest review of the system. So you need to know what you're getting into. Um, so far, I'm not happy. I'm happy with, you know, the design and everything's in there okay, except this. This is stupid. Why would they wouldn't prop that up is just beyond me. Um, this particular one scratches all over it, and it's supposed to be new. I paid for brand new. So, with that being said, I'm not thrilled about that at all. And, no, that stuff doesn't affect the actual system, but if you're paying for something new, you want it to be new and not damaged at all. Because I like to keep my stuff in main condition. Well, Clearly, that's not going to work out. So we got the power button down there, uh, HDMI port there, some other ports. Um, so it looks like we got one, two, three, four HDMI's down there. So, all right. Um, yeah, guess everything's off here. I'm probably gonna my computer other computers over there uh, I'm clearing out that section for this one I'm buying another monitor so but I'll probably hook up the monitor that I have now so I gotta clear my desk off to set this on so we can test it out <sighs> overall I'm giving this first of all the seller I'm giving the seller all a 2 out of 10 because if you're selling something new it needs to be new um, the system and look and everything, I like the look. I like how it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fans. I mean, that's great to keep it from overheating. Um, and who knows if we have any fans down in here. So there might be some more fans down there. I like everything else except this. I mean, the design was stupid here. Why they wouldn't prop this up just for extra support. So... The whole system is giving a 6 out of 10 so far. Performance and everything, you guys got to stay tuned because this is a complete video and I'll be showing everything. Alright, so we got the mouse hooked in and this mouse is actually pretty heavy. Um, it's a little weird. I've never had a gaming mouse before so I'm probably just going to get a standard two button mouse like this one because it's, I don't know, I mean to get used to it I guess. Um, now let's get the keyboard on here. We don't really have room for the keyboard since this desk is not for this computer. So we're going to put the keyboard up top here. There's the keyboard. Huge letters. I mean, wow. Like everything's huge. Okay, um, we are going to power this thing on. Uh, okay, so turn it on in the back probably would help. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, nothing's coming on the screen though. So the keyboard lights up. Lights up there. Oh, there we go. So I'll show you guys the screen for a while just um, to make sure everything works. Then I'll show you internals uh, and what's lit up inside. Okay, so the mouse is lit up. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll have to take care of all that stuff. Um, so we got a light here. Power lights on. Let's check the back. So there you got the one LED in the back there. Nothing down there. 
<coughs> excuse me guys um, so there's that LED nothing just black down in there so that's pretty awesome I mean especially you know let's turn off the lights so you guys can see how it actually looks dark I mean now you guys can actually get an idea how dark this room is now so that's really awesome I mean I love that um, I just wish everything was mint condition like it's supposed to be so it's still trying to load okay everybody so I got it on here the settings are just horrible I mean the screen resolution and everything so it looks like we gotta change everything here um, a lot of things to change with the computer you know which that's whatever um, 1920 alright keep changes uh... what's this 120 what's, uh... no we did not want to do that 100 percent recommended landscape what is this oh no revert revert how do we get up there there we go <laughs> okay so I'll mess with the settings more and stuff um, looks like this doesn't have wireless built in but that's why it came with that USB uh, your people okay so this is just all Windows 10 so it, it turned on everything seems okay uh, seems fine seems like it works as far as the function of the computer so of course this is my screen I have for my HP computer if you're interested this screen is 21 and a half inches and the model number is W2271D I'm actually buying another one of these screens for this computer when I get it set up at its area so we got the fan running I'm gonna be quiet now to let you guys listen to how it sounds it's pretty quiet to me um, that's just my personal opinion um, so something's light lit up orange and in there and just keeps going on and off um, other than that so so guys check it out I actually hooked up this computer to um, my HD TV through the HDMI uh, hookup so now I pretty much got a computer with a 32 inch screen so I'm still working on getting everything set up but pretty awesome I think um, now since I have that set up I want to figure out where I want to put the TV maybe down this side or I should say the monitor now um, I don't know I'm still trying to figure it out I'm working on seeing if we can get the Wi-Fi up here and then I'll show you guys uh, I don't know I guess maybe I'll download a game or something um, and go from there and show you guys how it plays and stuff okay so now I actually have four I mean uh, full bars now so everything seems to be working good um, you know the thing that came with it the wireless thing is just I plugged it in the USB and bam it just worked so that's awesome I do want to put it in the back because I want to keep these two USB ports freed up for other stuff um, yeah I mean the computer's running great so far uh, haven't played any games yet so I'm working on that and I'll show you guys once I get the games installed alright guys I'm downloading a game called Crossfire so uh, one thing I want to go over with this computer when I bought it it came with a wireless um, Wi-Fi adapter just this simply plugged and play well I use for my computer an Alpha wireless uh, range finder. It's dual long range. 
So downloading the game, with this just in, it was connected at 112 KBs. Well, I took this out, plugged in my antenna, and we are connected at 1.2, I mean, around, I'm going to say 119 MBs. So, crazy, crazy amount of uh, streaming, or I should say downloading, versus this little thing. So, if you guys want, I recommend getting the Alpha. It looks like this, it's got a little stand. Um, I don't think I have the box around anymore but if you guys really need to know what it's called I mean if you search alpha network um, antenna it'll come up on Amazon or eBay and then look for the one that offers the stand and everything alright guys so I downloaded a game called crossfire um, I'm not really gonna be able to hold the camera and do this at the same time but just kinda testing out the graphics and everything oh nice so it seems to be handling everything pretty good So again, I can't really do much of anything here. So guys, with all that being said, you know, this computer, I was not happy with the scratches that were on the clear cover and on the side a little bit, but with that being said, I've owned it for over six months now. I play games like Fortnite, RuneScape, um, Crossfire, and World of Tanks, and a lot of games, and it handles pretty much all of those games completely fine. I don't think I've found a game that... No, I had major lag with it. Uh, some games, there's a little lag that are really um, a lot of frames per second. But overall, we're now going to break down into details. So, the original mouse. Not a fan of it. You guys might be, but I wasn't. So I spent 7 bucks and got a cheap mouse, and I'm happy with that. The keyboard. I like the keyboard. I still use it. Um, the keys are really tall, so sometimes I misspell things. But, you know, that just could be how dumb I am. <laughs> but we can blame it on the keyboard, right, guys? Um, so the keyboard, I, I would give it a 6 out of 10. 6 to 7 out of 10. It's got so many functions on it. So, yeah, 6 out of 10. Of course, this computer does not come with a um, CD drive. So for, like, 15, 16 bucks... I don't know if you guys can see. You can buy a DVD uh, standard disc drive that's, I mean, it's this, it's literally that flat. It's small. So for like 17 to 25 bucks, you can get one of them, which will be in the video description. Um, so, yeah, keep in mind that it does not come with a computer monitor and it doesn't come with a CD drive. But, you know, that stuff. For the value of the computer, it is an A+. I mean, I've looked up the parts that are in here, and the parts are almost more than the computer itself. So, it's, it's crazy. So, the computer value, I give um, probably a 7 out of 10 for the value of the computer. And that's taken in consideration that you got to buy your own monitor, which I, I have one here that is... 
This monitor was 115 bucks, and I am so overwhelmingly happy with it. The link is in the description for that as well. Um, does not come with any sound systems, but I got surround sound set up here. Link will be in the description, and I'm just overwhelmed and happy with that. Uh, the style of this thing is amazing. I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, actually, right now, I actually have another setup here. I have these are dual fans. Let me plug it in real quick for you guys. I, I took off that screen cover that was here, the plexiglass, and I bought a 20-inch fan that is made for a laptop. You know, you said a laptop wanted to keep it cool, but I bought this. It's got an adjustable speed here, so it actually sucks in air from the side and blows it out. Just kind of a cool thing I've done with it, with the computer. And I'll be quiet so you guys can hear it. It's still really, really quiet. So overwhelmingly happy. Um, all the ports work excellent. The computer runs great. Just overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. Just overall, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, it, it's just been a great, great, great computer. So guys, that is my review. 8 out of 10 overall. Hope it helps you guys. Link, all kinds of links are in the description on this thing with everything you possibly could need. Um, I have so much stuff hooked up here. This cord, this is being put away. I just rigged this up. I got multiple 3.0 USB ports here. All kinds of stuff hooked up. Got a mic hooked up up there. Everything just, it works great. So I'm very happy. And um, I definitely will recommend this computer to anybody. So guys, hit that subscribe button and take care. If you got any questions, leave a comment. See ya. And also guys, it would mean a lot to me if you go subscribe to my channel. And also, click the little icon here to turn on notifications. That way, anytime I upload a new video, you guys get to see it. So, thank you guys very much, and enjoy the rest of the video, or check out all my other videos.